Hey guys, Daniel from Team Creepers here, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing video of the goodie bag that I was given at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Community Day out at Konami Windsor offices. So massive thanks to them for inviting us along, and without further ado, let's get into this goodie bag. Uh, so first off, we have one Zombie Horde structure deck. Uh, I really like this deck, it has a bunch of really cool reprints. We have things like Shared Ride, um, Mask of Restrict, Anti-Spell Fragrance, a bunch of really interesting staples, as well as some really interesting zombie cards. Uh, after that, we have a Layer of Darkness Stricture deck. Again, this deck currently isn't super relevant, but it had really big relevance at the start of the past format. Um, the Pure Striker lists were playing a lot of cards from it. Then we have Cybernetic Horizon Special Edition. This one's pretty cool. Saiho, of course, has Boral Sword Dragon in it. We have Yu-Gi-Oh! Top Trumps. These are pretty cool. I've heard of these, but I've not actually seen them yet. So it'll be cool to open those up. We have... Ooh! We have a Duel Links coin. These are really nice. Um, that gives me a coin for my deck box now. We also have a Duel Links pin featuring Yami Yugi. We have a Soul Fusion Special Edition. Uh, the Soul Fusion Special Edition, of course, has Ezold, Two Tales of Noble Knights, as seen on this match, and Summon Sorceress, as well as Neo Space Connector, and Neo Space Connector, and Prank Kids Roxies. So a bunch of really relevant cards to the format. Then we also have <coughs> Megaton Yusei Fudo and Megaton Jaden Yuki. These are this year's Megatons. They're really nice. Um, they have a bunch of kind of decent cards in them. Um, so we might open those later. Then we have a Blue Eyes White Dragon Fox figure. And finally, what I think is most exciting, we have a pile of bubble wrap. Uh, so this was sealed when they gave it to me, but unfortunately going through airport security it was pretty spooky for them, um, and so they opened it up. So we will open it up again. Um, so first off, we have this lovely wooden stand. It has compartment for batteries. And by the looks of it, it has an LED light here. Then we have everybody's favorite. We have cables. Lots and lots of cables. And then finally, the most exciting part, we have this. This is a laser printed Stardust Dragon, which is absolutely gorgeous. And he just sits there on the stand. And I will try and find some power source and I will cut back to a lit up Stardust Dragon for you guys. But yeah, that is... Gorgeous. This is probably my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh collectible that I own. Um, but yeah, so cool Stardust. We will set you to the side. And we will go ahead and start opening up some of these things. So first off, we're going to open the pin. Um, I noticed these have been available at Duel Links events that we've run at YCS events in the past. Quite a nice pin. Basically everything that you would expect from a pin, really. Then we have the Duel Links coin. These are really nice. Uh, this is something that I'd actually been wanting to get for a while. So it's really cool to get one. Uh, yeah, It's just like the coin that you get at the start of the game of Duel Links. Red on one side, blue with the Millennium Eye on the other side. Not the Millennium Eye, but I have Wajat, I believe. Then we have Top Trumps. <coughs> So, I don't know much about these. I assume that they are based on the original series, because that would make sense. So I'm expecting to see characters like Yugi Mojo, but they could be based on monster cards. I would expect a mix of characters and monster cards, but let's find out. Who is the ultimate duelist, Top Trumps? Coming soon, Yugi Monopoly and a How to Play card. We have Yugi Moto, his highest level is 8, number of cards 98. I think this seems slightly dubious. I assume he has slightly more. 
Uh, highest attack points, 4,500. Highest defense, 3,850. Number of duels, 10. Um, trying to think what has the 3,850. Uh, I can only assume... Huh, I'm not actually sure on that. Then Yamayugi, he says top trump on him. He has highest level 12, number of cards 199. Hmm. Now these two have different numbers of cards, I'm not sure. Highest attack points 5,000, highest defense points 5,000, sure. Number of duels 51. Uh, I assume top trump means that at least one of his numbers is higher than any other character in the deck. We have Joey Wheeler, uh, highest level 9. Yep, he has 123 cards, so he actually has more cards than Yugi Mojo, apparently. Uh, highest attack points, 3,200. Uh, highest defense points, 2,500. Number of duels, 36. Tay Gardner, highest level 7. Yep, this is all pretty expected. Tristan Taylor, Yami Bakura. Yami Bakura's highest attack points is 2,450, which makes him an interesting antagonist. Uh, the best, the best character in the deck. Sato Kaiba, Mokuba, Maximilian Pegasus, My Valentine, Odeon, Mark Ishtar, Shizu Ishtar, Shadi, Darts, Priest Sato, Weevil Underwood, Rex Raptor, Mako Tsunami, Tonic from Duelist Kingdom, Bandit Keats from Duelist Kingdom, Bones from Duelist Kingdom, Arcana, Strings, Umbra and Loomis. This is two people on one card, I, I, I cry foul. Uh, Raphael, Isis, Mahad, Akin. Huh. So there is no. Is there. I don't think we passed it. Okay, we did pass the Shizu. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, so it has just exclusively characters. Um, there are a lot of unknowns when it comes to the Millennium World stuff. But yeah, that's that's really cool. Um, so Yugi Moto, or Yami Yugi is just the best trump card, it seems. Which is interesting. But yeah, that's a cool deck. Nicely printed. The backs are cool. Um, yeah, that's cute. And sorry for knocking the camera there. Okay, next we are going to open. It's Blue Eyes White Dragon Pop. Now, I have actually been told that there is something special behind here. Um, but first, let's look at the pop itself. Blue Eyes White Dragon would definitely be my favorite of these pops. I think we got one of... we got one random one each. So I'm very happy I got Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, yeah, that's like a very solid piece of plastic. Nicely painted, sufficiently blue eyesy. His eyes are kind of like metallic y shiny, which is quite nice. I like to figure he will definitely sit on my desk next to Stardust. He is not as cool as the Stardust, but Stardust is very cool. Um, and then, what is this? Oh wow. Okay, so they told us that we would have an envelope in our packages. Um, this is pretty crazy. For those of you who don't know, this is a set of the World Championship 2018 promo cards. Uh, you could only get these from either being at the World Championship 2018, or else from competing at a World Championship event in your store. I think there's about 7,000 copies of these cards in existence, and that's it. So that is very exciting. I didn't manage to pick up a set of these when they came out, so... I'm super duper happy to have an opportunity to. Okay, so we will set the envelope aside because it is as special as the cards themselves. And here we are. We have Blue Eyes White Dragon with the original artwork and Dark Magician with the original artwork. Not only that, but these are 20th anniversary foil, which I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but you can see that the Blue Eyes has red writing. And then there is also a holograph in the text box here, which has 20th. Which is kind of showing on the screen. And then of course these are OCG cards, so they have the OCG card back. Um, and yeah, they're 2018 JPP01. Yeah, but these are gorgeous cards. I'm so happy to finally have a set of these. They're really nice. Cool. So all that we have left is product and product and more product. Did I mention product? 
And they also gave us a box when we started our tournament. And then they also gave us some tins. So, product opening will come as a separate video. Uh, thank you all for joining me for this opening. And yeah, join me later because I will have more content about what went down at the event. And yeah, thank you very much for joining and talk to you guys soon. Daniel out.